This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Before exporting a library, it's a good idea to test functions with different input values to make sure that they export correctly. Debug the issues with these programs using the tests written for each to check what's wrong with them. All right, let's hit run. So console log. All right, so we're running a bunch of functions. Console log 10 is even. So that's just for us to be able to see what's going on here. And then we say plus is even 10. So we're getting the result of is even 10 is even 10. Okay, so 10 is even is way up here. 10 is even that returned true, right? Because what this function will do, we throw 10, the computer says what's is even smack. Oh, what's number? Oh, 10. Okay. Number then is here. Modulus two. Modulus is where you get the remainder. So it's like division, except it returns the remainder. So three modulus two, that answer would be one. Um, five modulus three well what's left over that answer would be two so 10 modulus two two goes in evenly you should get a result of zero and that's how you can check for an even number and yes zero is the result and that is equal equal to zero so it returns true and it says 10 is even true let's check the next five is even this should obviously say false and it does because five modulus two would return one is one equal to zero it is not negative two is even this should be true and it is 10 is odd that should yep that is good 10 is odd looks good that should be false five is odd true yes negative five is odd false that's a problem right there 10 is between 0 and 5. That's a problem. 10 is between 5 and 10. That's a problem. 10 is between 15. Okay, so this function, which one's doing that? And then negatives. 5 is, is odd. Negative 5 returns false. Yes, and negative 5, of course, is odd. So what's our issue here? Hmm. I think so because this is negative what happens here is we end up with a negative one whereas before it had to be zero so it would never be a negative zero so negatives really didn't matter but here you will end up with a negative number so what we can do we could set up another uh, uh an or statement and say or number modulus two is equal equal to negative one but i believe oh we don't have absolute value okay well then i guess that's what we're doing <laughs> huh. um yeah so let's set up an or statement for that is the easiest way to go about this so return number right boom or because it would be the same result if you input negative numbers or a number and we can put parentheses around it if we want number modulus two is equal equal to negative one uh, they did it like that okay so i'm just typing that in modulus is just the percent sign because now if it is negative one that's the same deal here if there's just one left over so it must be an odd number let's go ahead and check and I check a lot. You see how negative five just went true? Nice thing about code is you can check a billion times. All right, let's see what's going on here. Five, okay, is between. Where's is between? Is between number, low, high. Okay, well, 10, good, low, good, high. Okay, number, oh, and I should mention or, keep in mind, or means if this is true or if this is true, the whole thing is true. Either part of it's true and the whole thing is true. The only way it's false is if both statements are false. All right, now that being said, 10 is 10 greater than zero. True. So it's done now. Oh, see, or it's done. So once it's true, it doesn't, I don't need to check if this is true because it doesn't matter for or. All it needs is one true. So it's done. It never even runs that. Let's check this one. 
10, 5, 10. Okay, so 10 goes here. 5 is here. So is 10 greater than 5? True. Well, whole thing's done then, right? It returns true. Is between 10, 15, 20? 10, 15, 20. So is 10 greater than 15? No, that's definitely false. Well, then why is it returning true? Or, okay, the computer says, okay, this is false, but there's one more, so I have to check this now. Or 10 is less than the high number, which is 20. That's true. 10 is less than 20. Whole thing's true. So what we need is and. We want both these things to be true because we need it between. It has to be greater than 15 and less than 20. Or means if it's either of these, it's fine. Boom. 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 Cool. Onward.